Gabriel Gilcrease cattle drink 2,200 gallons of water a day. He knows exactly how much because every day he has to haul that water from a spring in a special tanker because he lives in an area known as the Lagan Desert where for a 12 mile radius there's no piped water supply. This hot weather spell has made things particularly tough for the 3,000 or so people who live in this region. Many of their wells and springs have dried up, but even the water they did have in some cases is not fit to drink. The water from the Hegarty family well, for instance, has completely discoloured this kettle, and John Hegarty now travels seven miles to Newton Cunningham to get drinking water. The water here comes from Northern Ireland. The water supply at the other end of the Lagan Desert comes from a Donegal lake, so there are two options to pipe water into this area, and Donegal County Council has drawn up plans for both. Plans have been in the department for the last 12 months for two sources, one from Lochmore and the other from the canal basin in Kilnay. And I believe that uh, those plans have been lying on someone's desk for 12 months and nothing has been done about it. Danny Harkin believes a council delegation will have to go to the Minister for the Environment to try and find out what the delay is in sanctioning one or other plan, both of which are costed at just over a million pounds. In the meantime, the council is considering drastic short-term measures. In an emergency situation here at this particular time, I believe that water tankers should be sent into the Lagan Desert to uh, service the houses, uh, especially the, for domestic use, over the next two to three weeks or whatever time it takes until the springs open up in uh, October, November. The people in this particular area are crying out for water, and I think it's not good enough in 1991. For 1.2 million, these people are left high and very dry.